lung disease is a high cause of mortality worldwide, not just in developing countries, but in, 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 uh, in the developed world as well. The need for respiratory therapy in critical care in population-based education, I think, is vital and crucial. I think it's exciting. I think that it's an innovative new way to showcase our talent and what we can do. Seeing RTs and their roles in other countries more so than actually just in North America. Closer to home would be bringing RTs out to rural communities that don't have access to a respiratory therapist. Uh, on peut faire beaucoup de choses comme thérapeute respiratoire. Le rôle est, est tout aussi important comme les infirmières et les médecins. I mean, I think it's a novel idea and I think it's a terrific idea. But, uh, so why not start with RTs, like yourself, RTs with reporters. In the respiratory therapist, actually, they take the control of ventilation, physiotherapy of the respiratory system and all, and very, very essential personnel in the intensive care setting. So he has come and we have invited him to give this talk. There are a lot of things that we learned from him about how the intubations and ventilation, the parameters. We got learned the lesson how to win off and what are the things that we have to take care of while the child is in the uh, ventilator. And we do I welcome them. If anyone to the respiratory episodes, do come here. Mark Moles, respiratory therapist without borders. Darla Roberts, RTs without borders. Rupal Mystery, respiratory therapist without borders. Michelle Miller, respiratory therapist without borders. Todd Mortimer, respiratory therapist without borders.